Hi guys, Chris again, and this is a NVIDIA GeForce GTX Titan XP video card. This was a 2017 release GPU with 12 gigabytes of video RAM and a fairly standard, they only, they only offered two of these, this and the Star Wars edition. These were not available through other manufacturers or you could get like this one, what does this say on it? Who made this one? Mm, this one doesn't specify. I think, I think they, some of them are branded, but they all have this cooler design on them. And then the Star Wars ones are one specific star, two specific Star Wars coolers, and that was it. You didn't have an MSI gaming trio Titan or something like that. So they offered two versions of this, a Titan XP and a Titan X Pascal. You can clearly see on the Titan XP, it will be labeled right here. You'll see it on the label. It'll say Titan XP. The, uh, the other ones will say Titan X and then in parentheses, Pascal. So don't confuse them. They are two different cards. One is more or less a 1080 with 12 gigs on steroids and one is more or less a 1080 Ti on steroids with 12 gigs. Um, so this will run any game that you throw at it other than uh, newer games that are starting to require ray tracing. Those will not run. There's nothing you can do about that to the best of my knowledge unless somebody has come, come up with a hack. Um, other than those games though, this will run anything that you can throw at it. So as far as what you should pay for this, now the thing with this GPU, this is not a good option for gaming if you can get a 1080 Ti. Generally these go for a little more than a 1080 Ti. It depends on the deal you find. Sometimes you'll find a deal that's pretty good, sometimes not. But as a whole, generally these go for slightly more than the 1080 Ti. Now, the benchmarks I have seen today suggest that the 1080 Ti is a slightly superior GPU for gaming purposes. The difference is, is very small, so it's, it's, it's not worth splitting hairs over. But Given one of these for $200 and a 1080 Ti for say $120 or even $100, you want to buy the 1080 Ti. I would recommend do not pay more than $100 for one of these. Otherwise, you have better options like a 1080 Ti in that price range. Anyway, I hope you guys find this informative and thanks for watching the video.